Hey Chan, so just before you um, go on to number three, I just wanted to show you, because what we've been doing right now have been pretty simple in that we're just being able to use rectangles and squares. So we're just able to drop lines straight down or maybe straight across, depending on you want, how you want it. But then now this problem three is gonna be a little bit more difficult. It has a little bit of a slant to one of the, the curves. And so you're like, well, how do I figure that out? Well, I don't think anybody ever will remember the area under a irregular quadrilateral, I think is the right way to say it, but we all do remember how to do triangles, I hope. So when, we're, when we get to a problem like this that has a little slant on it, what we need to do is be creative in the way that we want to cut our um, piece, pieces. And so here you can see if I drop a line right here, that's a pretty easy rectangle. And if I was to drop a, a line across like this, well, now I have a second rectangle. And now I have a third triangle. So here's my section number one. Here's my section number two. And here's my section number three. And now it's um, some of the things that we know how to do. So um, in this rectangle, two times six, so for, uh, Section number one, it's just gonna be two times six, All right? For section number two, well, we've got um, two, four, so two, four, six times one, right? So one times six, okay? So the base is six and the height is one. And then for the part number three, this part right here, well, we have uh, a height of two, and we have a uh, base of two, four, four. But remember, for a triangle, it's one half the base times the height. So we'll take one half of that. So when we do all this together, we get um, 12. And then here we get six, so we'll add six so add six and the last part right here two times four is eight plus hey take half of that that's four and so our answer becomes 14 14 what again 14 meters because our stuff is in meters per second all right hopefully that's helpful this is just the example remember that's not the one that you have in front of you so make sure when you get to uh, problem number three on this go formative that you split that one up just like we've done here Right. Find your triangles and find your rectangles and use those.